Premier Simulation Basketball is live on the air on the Global Simulation Sports Network in front of a sold-out capacity crowd at the Monarch Gardens Health Center as the New York Griffins host the Jacksonville Piranhas. I'm James Olson alongside my broadcast partner Rain Man here at Courtside in Rain. Who do we have our eyes on for this one? Well, James, Thompson and McNamerson is my players to watch out for. Thompson put up 25 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and 3 blocks in a loss against the Goats. McNamerson put up 14 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists against the Invasion. These two players is the my players to watch out for. As both teams are getting set, here comes the tip-off. And Jacksonville will win it to start this game. Aiden James bringing the ball on up here for the Jacksonville Piranhas. James, definitely one of those point guards you got to watch out for. He is one of the smallest in the league. He is very quick, and he will get the assists, as well as pick up a few points here and there. Jacksonville missing the first shot of the game. Here comes Alexander bringing the ball on up. Oh, gets hit right there. Chisholm will be charged with the foul and one opportunity for Kevin Alexander. Check this nice little replay right here. Rain going up inside, getting that one to go. Alexander going in strong for that and one opportunity. Kevin Alexander just took Chisholm to school. Chisholm better start paying attention to the teacher because Kevin Alexander could be the teacher's pet. Mind the lanes, mind the lanes. So Kevin Alexander one and one opportunity right here. Trying to get this early, early start here for the Griffins. Alexander's shot up, and it is good. And an early 3-0 lead to start this game. Jacksonville now bringing the ball on up the court. James now trying to set something up here. Now gets it on over to Chisholm. Now over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc cuts inside the paint. Up over Jeffrey John. Could not get that one to go. John with the rebound. And here come the Griffins back on offense. Ant Thomas, one of the top scorers in the PSB. Definitely been putting on a clinic. He's been trying to go inside, crossing his man up over. Gets that one to go, flowing it from the free throw line. Ant Thomas is one of the most dangerous players in this league right now. Stopping him, it's like trying to stop a freight train with a police car. It's not going to happen. Dave's now trying to float it up over the defense right there. The twin towers of the New York Griffins. Easily putting a stop to that one, missing that shot right there. Is Aiden James. Alexander trying to spin move, go inside. Could not get that one to go. And here comes Jacksonville back on the offense. Trying to at least get the lid off this basket. Still early on. LeBlanc now goes down, tries to shimmy, goes up, spins the other way, gets that one to kiss off the glass. And the nice basket right there by Dylan LeBlanc. Good basket by Dylan. Found the mismatch, took advantage of it, and scored the easy basket. Ant Thomas can do nothing with him under the goal. Followers. Corner right there, got it to go for three. Naming this Namerson, getting that one to go. One of his teammates right there, Jeffrey John, on the screen against the Seattle Invasion. He put up a decent stat line for the New York Griffins. Now it's over to Thompson on the right side, looking for that screen, wants to drive, cuts it back. Now he's going to launch it up over, could not get that one to go. Namerson with the rebound. Amerson, one of the top centers in the PSB. New York definitely getting their money's worth picking him up. Chisholm will be charged with the foul right there. Alexander going back to the line. Rain, it is still a very early season. We have seen a lot of action right now. What would you say is the most impressive thing that you've seen so far? coming out of the PSB. One of the most impressive things I've seen with these guys, they play hard, game in and game out. And off the court, a lot of these guys are friends. I'm in their league chat, posing as a mama. But a lot of these guys, they dedicated their craft on the court. As there were substitutions on the court right now, bringing in the bench for both sides. Alexander looking for that. And he gets it to go to a 10-2 lead for the Griffins. James now bringing the ball on up. Looking to set it up here for the Piranhas. Cuts it on over. He now gets over to LeBlanc in the corner. Foul right there. And that is going to keep stopping the play for a hot second. Now the 
inbound. He's going to go back to Jacksonville. Aiden James trying to get inside, and he does up and over the defense. Tariq Thomas, spin move inside, gets it for two. Aiden James this season, 30% of what he passes off is going for assists. The young kid is definitely putting in the work. And Thomas now trying to get that one up over, could not get that one to go. And here comes the promise back on offense. Thompson up inside, missing that one. Actually split the D just a little bit, but could not get the strong finish. And Amerson now gives it on over to Thomas. Thomas trying to do the Aunt Thomas way, baby. Jeffrey John now wants to spin inside, up over Aiden James. This is a big mismatch. However, he's gonna kick it back on and out. Aunt Thomas missing that shot right there. Questionable decision right there by Jeffrey John. Block party here in New York. Getting that shot swatted away right there. And here comes the Griffins. McNamerson up, spin move. Wants to kick it back on out to Ann Thomas. Gets that screen to the left. Wanted to pass it on off to McNamerson. McNamerson missing that cue right there. And now Jacksonville with the steal. Thomas now hands it off to Aiden James. James now cut back to the right side, wants to get it down to LeBlanc. LeBlanc now, spin move, cuts it back to his left, could not kiss it off the glass. And this game is still gonna look at 10 to four, but oh my God! He just skied up for that one, Rain. Oh my God, Aunt Sanity went insane on Storm. He actually brought the Storm to Storm. Up, up, and away. The elevator man reaches into the top floor and throws it over two defenders right there. And the Griffins now up 12-4. to four. Thompson, Thompson actually two. gets it for James. two. And he makes it a 12-6 to six game. As you can see on the screen, Tariq Thompson, 20.3 points per game. And Alexander throwing it down. Good play, good pass, good dunk. Look at the stat line right there. Alexander versus Jacksonville. Alexander putting in the work, actually outscoring very early on still. But he's got more points than what the Primas have put up tonight. McNaberson makes that shot rattle around. Comes down with that rebound. Goes on over to Thomas. Thomas now up at the top. Gets over to Alexander. Alexander steps inside, gets that one for two. And they are gonna have to take a timeout. 3.53 left here in the first quarter. The Griffins definitely putting on a clinic here against the Piranhas, 16-6. Right now, New York is running away with this one. Welcome back to PSB action as the New York Griffins have a 16-6 lead. Still with 3.45 left here in the first quarter. James Olsen alongside Rain Man. Aberdeen wants to try to get that up and over. Could not get that one to go. And here comes the New York Griffins back on offense. Gibson now gets that on the corner. Nice shot right there. And here we go with New York putting on a bigger clinic. Look at the stat line right there. 70% of what New York has put up so far has gone in. Allen now trying to get something going on. Here for the Pranas, up inside. Jameson missing that one. Could not get that one to go. And the shooting woes continue for the Piranhas. Nice ball movement right here up by the Griffin. Screen to the left side, goes inside. Yonju, he's gonna throw it on down the big man. Hands it off to Aberdeen. Aberdeen now cuts back to the left. Now wants to cut back inside to the right. Finger rolls that one up over the defense. Rain, what in the world? I'm telling you, that was a great shot right there. Jaden rolled that up his fingertips like he was the ice man himself. But you know, like I know, a legend is a legend for a reason. And he got a lot of work to do. As the lead continues right there, as Moda gets that shot to roll on in. 22 to eight, just over two minutes to play. Jameson now looking to set something up here. Wants that screen to the right. He's going to take it. He's going to go inside. Up over. 
why would you do that up over the big man? I have no idea. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Going straight at him. Oh my goodness. Oh man. A room now throwing it on down for the Griffins. And is now a commanding 24 to 8 lead. Hardaway with the ball. Now wants to take a step back. Now wants to drive inside. Getting hacked right there by Asmoda. Asmoda will be charged with the foul, and that will send Jacksonville to the line. Rain, I gotta ask you, man. Normally, I ask you a lot of questions just so we can get some chitter chatter, get some content thrown away to the fans. Jacksonville is a very young team. They have probably the shortest team in all of the PSB. Is that a positive thing to have that type of small ball or is it actually going to hurt you in the long run james i'm going to assume this is a serious question you're asking me jacksonville is one and two every team they play has been bigger than them as hungwell would say size does matter hardaway's first attempt right there at the free throw line could not fall you know, it's a very, very touchy subject, especially on the height-wise. Sometimes a small ball will work because a lot of times they can be a lot quicker on the court. They can get to the rim a little bit faster, things like that. However, you are going to be matched up against, well, in the case of New York, the Twin Towers of defense. And you're bound to get your shot sent to the fifth row. Musaf goes on in, gets hit right there by Allen. Musaf getting that one to fall on down, and there's another and one opportunity coming in the way of New York. Man, it's something about this kid. It's something about him. Got special written all over him. One shot. So the Griffins going back to the line for another and one opportunity reign. And this has been pretty much their bread and butter here tonight. Getting points at the free throw line early on. And speaking of early on, it is a 27-9 lead with just over a minute 20 left in the first quarter. Jameson now gets on over. Aberdeen launching for three. Gets that one to go. Chipping away at that lead as much as he possibly can, Rain. They can keep chipping away. But sooner or later, they're going to have to start knocking off boulders. Griffiths with the ball now gets it over to Mustav. Now it's down to Arjun. Arjun gets that one to yeah, hit the back of the rim. I thought it was about to go in from the angle I was kind of looking at, but did not fall. Jamison now for the Piranhas. Tries to get inside Aberdeen. Loses it a little bit. Still not getting it to go. And it gets tipped in. Wow. Way to stay with that one, Rain. Does that point go to Aberdeen or should it go to New York? New York been scoring as well. Now they're starting to score for them. Shot clock and game clock, about 14 seconds difference. Mustaf launching it for three. Could not get that one to go. Allen with the rebound for the Piranhas. Quickly bringing the ball on up. Aberdeen launching it for three. Bang! Gets that one to go. And now it's a 10 point game. Piranhas on an 8 0 run. I'm going to have to apologize to Aberdeen. He came down and made that split splash. Gibson looks to drive inside. Gets blocked right there. Shot clock is turned off. In the last 14 seconds is going to be stolen away right there. Now it's going to be the Griffins going inside. Gibson now looking for that last shot. Spin move, finger roll, gets that one to go. And with 2.4 seconds left from half court, missing that one completely. And at the end of the first quarter, the New York Griffins putting in a dominating performance, 29-17. We're going into the second quarter. Strap up. This game is about to get real good early on. And welcome back to Premier Simulation Basketball. James Olson alongside Rain Man for the commentary here tonight. Jacksonville's uh, floor right now has Aiden James, Chisholm, Storm Thompson, and LeBlanc. The starters are out to start this second quarter. Missed shot right there for the Griffins. Thompson now with the ball on the right side. Wants to drive inside, but 
Now he's going to step back, launch it for three. Gets that one to rattle on in. Tariq Thompson, even in his last game, 25 points with the loss. Almost flirted with the double-double. Trying to go inside. Gets that 2-1 to go right there by Ant Thomas. Ant Thomas, 26.5 points per game. This guy can score rain. That's why he's the leading scorer in the league right now. He makes scoring seem so easy. Ant Sanity's like, let the show begin, because he's just getting started. James gets on over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc launching it for two. Gets that one to go. Trying to chip away and not be at a double-digit deficit anymore. Thomas looking for that mid-range jumper. Gets that one to go, and he is on a scoring trend right now. He's got eight points here tonight, Ray. That's why he's the leading scorer in the league right now. Thompson on into Javid Storm. Storm almost losing that ball. Has to reset, gets it to Aiden James. James launching it for three. James. Bang! Gets that one to go. The young blood getting that one to go from long range. Aiden James didn't come short on that one. He's money when he's open like that. So the Griffins now trying to set something up. John with the ball. Gets it on into Ant Thomas. Stolen away by James. And here comes the Piranhas. Launching it for two. Gets that one to go. Dylan LeBlanc quickly getting that one to go. And here come the Piranhas chipping away at this lead. Dylan LeBlanc is actually a good friend of mine. Hope he gets his team back in this game. Thomas now launching it from mid-range again. This guy has just been deadly from mid-range game. On the season so far, look at what you can see. 37% of him being used right now on this offense. 27% going in the way of an assist. Javid Storm getting blocked right there. Snatching that one is McNamerson rain. That wasn't no normal block. That was more like an interception. Almost went for the touchdown. My foul was wrong game. Quick steal here by the Piranhas. Piranhas trying to get back on offense. Thomas now. Trying to shake off the defense. Now it's over to Aiden James. Aiden James pump fakes. Gets his defender up off his feet and gets that one to go for two points. Aiden James to Ant, have you jumped yet? Bye bye, Birdie. Two points. Thomas looking to drive. Goes up. Oh, one of the reverse highlight jam. Could not get that one to go. And here comes the Piranhas. Thompson now, reverse layup, just short. I think there was a finger on that one. The crowd is actually reacting like it was a block. We'll have to check the stat line on that one later. Jeffrey John now, gets it over. Thomas throws it down. Ant Sanity with another insane dunk. Ant Sanity's handing out posters tonight. And the Piranhas have to take a much needed timeout. 541 left here in the second quarter. This is PSB action. Do not go anywhere. Definitely want to stay tuned for this one, folks. And we are back live. PSB action at its finest. James Olsen alongside Rain Man bringing you this big time game between the New York Griffins and the Jacksonville Piranhas. Chisholm now cuts to the right side, wants to step back, launches it for two, gets that one to go, and is now a 37-31 game to this point. Field goals on the screen right now, Griffin still commanding with 67% of their stuff going down, and that's another shot going on down for one Ant Thomas. James, this man can't be stopped. The only person that can stop him is himself, and I don't think he can do that. James missing that floater right there for the Piranhas. Now here comes the Griffins back. And Jeffrey John throwing it down with the right hand. The Kirk Heimberg looking like with the Statue of Liberty. Easy two from one of the towers. The big man Jeffrey John getting that two-pointer to go. Here comes Thomas inside. Gets hacked right there. His leaky getting to the foul right there for the Griffins. Rain, I know this is still very early on in this game, and we've seen a lot of highlight jams. Tariq Thompson, definitely one of those guys. In fact, in his high school days, he actually won a slam dunk competition doing a 360 windmill over his teacher. How impressive would that be if he pulled that type of stuff here in the PSB? If he can pull a dunk like that off in the PSB, he might as well be Cyrus King. Oops, I meant crown him king. 
there's only a handful of players I know that can pull a dunk off like that in a game. So the big men now sitting on out for the Jacksonville Piranhas. As Moda now checking on in for the Griffins. Thompson's shot is up and he gets that one to go for the end one opportunity. 444 left here in the second quarter is a 42-33 Griffins lead. Piranhas have definitely bounced back here in the second quarter. And Thompson throws it on down. Oh my God, I knew that was going to happen right away, Rain. And that is his 17th point of this game. James, I couldn't say that any better. He went past 80. 80 didn't want no part of that post. Thompson collecting his own miss right there. Gets the offensive rebound. Goes up again. Gets a second chance point And gets hit. So he's going back to the line. Jeffrey John moving on over to the center position. A room now checking on in off the bench again for the Griffins. James, why are you taking his free throw? I want to say RIP to Bill Russell. The basketball community is going to miss a legend like him. Thompson shot is up and it is good. Still slowly trying to chip away at this Griffins lead. Ant Thomas definitely putting on a clinic. Gets blocked right there, going for the two-hand jam. And here comes the Piranhas back on the offense. Gets it on inside. Up over Thompson, missing that one a little too strong. Tried to get it off as quick as he possibly could before the Griffins closed in on him. Kevin Alexander started off hot in this game. And Thomas is now taking that role. Thomas launching it for three. Bang! This got to be one of Ant Thomas' best games this season. He's been cooking fish all night. Ant Thomas cannot be stopped, and this is his quarter in his house. Piranha's now looking, trying to answer back. Cuts to the right. Here comes Thompson. Gets it inside. Allen, two-hand jam, throwing it on down. Almost got that one to pop back out, but it securely went down for two. Piranha's know they needed that one to help quiet down the crowd, but it didn't help at all. As Moda now cutting back to the left. Tries to get the inside dribble. John now launching it for two. Rattles around. Could not get that one to fall. Aiden James now bringing the ball in up. Step back. Broke Ant Thomas's ankles. I'm sorry, that wasn't Ant Thomas. That was just Moda. He broke his ankles. I thought that was Ant Thomas for a second. Man, oh man. The kids got handles. Thomas now he's gonna get that one stolen away and here comes Aiden James bringing it back up lobs it up gets it to fall for the alley-oop jam to Allen well slap me in the face and call me Sally Piranhas have crawled back in this game they're only down by seven let's go Aiden James Thomas launching it for three got that one to go and they are gonna have to take a quick timeout 50 40 222 left here in the first half this is PSB on the GSSN stay tuned for more action folks rain coming back from this time out we have definitely seen a resurgence in the Jacksonville piranhas is this something that you really need to watch out for if you are the New York Griffins or are you going to just play strong ball and try to get this dub all the way to the end? If I was the Griffins, I would keep the ball out of Aiden James' hands. But also, if I was the Griffins, I will also keep the ball in Ant Thomas' hands. Allen shot, missing right there. And here comes the Griffins back on offense. The New York Griffins in their last game, 82 points. 23 assists that is a team that can dish the ball Mustaf trying to shake and bake the defense could not get that one to go got met up and that ball got swatted back Jacksonville trying to get something here right now kicking it back on out to Allen gets that screen wants to go to the left side goes inside up over getting blocked right there exit denied Mustafa with the ball, steps back, could not get that one to go. And here come the Piranhas back on the offensive side. She goes inside, oh my God, Jamison with the reverse alley-oop throwdown rain. Ooh-wee, he puts a flare on that dunk. Jamison was a player. On three attempts right there, gets that one to go. 
It is a 53-42, just over a minute left here in the first half. Rooms will now get hit with the reach in. Check out this block from earlier rain. Doesn't have to be always the prettiest blocks, but a block will definitely spark the defense anytime down the court. Any block gets you into a block party. I guess you can tell him, access granted. So here comes Jacksonville on the court. Allen now looks to drive inside, getting blocked right there. Another block by the Griffins. Young with the block right there. Stopping a nice two-point attempt by the Piranhas. Hardaway looking to inbound here for Jacksonville. Hardaway tries to get inside. It will be tipped again. And they will just inbound from the same spot. New York is playing very good defense. In my mind, getting the blocks as well as getting a few steals as well, Rain. New York has played as good as basketball as you can play. Jameson. Launch three attempt right there by Jameson. Jameson definitely getting that three-point bomb to drop. We are just now under a minute left here in the second. It's a 53-45 game for the Griffins. Ice ball movement here by New York. Mustav wants to go inside. Launch of two comes up short right with the rebound for the Piranhas. Goes inside Aberdeen. He's now getting blocked right there. Mustaf up inside, just a little bit too far to the left. Could not get the backspin to help put that shot on down. Allen now looks up at the shot clock and game clock, realizes that there is no shot clock. Allen launching it for two. I think that was an air ball. Maybe it was a block. I don't know. Half court attempt right there. Hits the back of the rim, Rain. And at the end of the first half, it is 53-45. And welcome back to the Global Simulation Sports Network. PSB on tap here tonight for you folks as the New York Griffins and the Jacksonville Piranhas put on one heck of a game. Launch three right there by Kevin Alexander to start off the second quarter with a tray bomb rain. Fun fact, James, Kevin Alexander is actually my little brother. And I've been a hater tonight because he's scoring more points than I do in the game. Chisholm now looking to set up with the nub. Now gets over to James. Now James gets it on inside the storm. Getting blocked right there. Mamie McNamerson swatting that one at the bench. And as we check out that replay rain, defense is definitely winning every time. McNamerson told Storm, you're not allowed at our block party. Access denied. McNamerson, one of those guys who does not mind swatting some shots into the front row. Goes inside Chisholm, gets blocked right there by McNamerson. Quick defense to offense, gets that one to go right there. And here come the Griffins starting off hot yet again to start this quarter. Thompson now spin move inside, could not get that one to go. McNamerson with the rebound. Big man thought he was going to start playing some point guard stuff, but here's the real point guard in Ant Thomas. Now gets it on over to McNamerson. Kozlicki now with the ball, wants to drive. Cuts it back to the left, now steps back. Has Storm up on him, gets the screen. Kozlicki now tries to go inside to Jeffrey John. Missing that one right there. Here come the Pranas. Spin move right there by Tariq Thompson. Launching it from a fadeaway. Could not get that one to go. Jacksonville now on a scoring drought in the last 225 and counting. 
John with the ball up top. Now gets it over to Alexander. Alexander spin move, launching it for two. Gets that one to go. Extending this lead right here, Rain. Yeah, yeah. Good shot by my little brother. He has 14 points and only missed one shot. Anybody can do that. Five of six shooting for Alexander. Has 14 points here tonight. LeBlanc now up, over. Could not get that one to go. Jeffrey John snatching down that defensive rebound. Watch three point right there. Bang! James, where's the fat lady? If she ain't singing, she need to start. Jacksonville. The Ant-Man with a three, extending this lead. Jacksonville taking another timeout. 6.50 left here in the third quarter is 64.45 in favor of the Griffins. Coming back from the timeout right there. LeBlanc getting the inbound for Jacksonville. Getting swatted away right there. And here comes the Griffins again from defense looking to answer back on offense. Thomas now gets over to Alexander. Alexander just inside the paint. Gets that one to go for two. Good shot by Alexander. Ant and Alexander got a one-two punch going on. You know, we talk about the dynamic duo as Thompson launches it for three. Gets that one to just split splash. I got to say, Rain, Ant Thomas and Kevin Alexander, the guards definitely putting on a clinic here for the home crowd here tonight. Thomas throws it down as we check out the replay. Welcome to your Kodak moment, Javid Storm in favor of one Ant Thomas, that right there, a poster jam ring. I'm starting to feel sorry for a storm tonight. He's getting used and abused. Ant Thomas just threw that down and also put storm on the ground. Chisholm's shot is off. Jeffrey John bringing down that rebound. Rebounds to this point, it is all Griffin's ball. Zlicky getting swatted away right there. And here comes Aiden James. Gonna watch it for two, gets that one to go. Aiden James putting on a nice show of his own for the Piranhas. Assist for the season right now, 27 a game for the Piranhas. Aiden James very stingy right there against one Ant Thomas who is definitely gonna be mean up for a jump ball. Thomas easily gonna win that one, but it is actually gonna go to the Piranhas. Man, oh man, miscommunication right there. Chisholm could not get that floater to go. And here comes the Griffins back on offense. They are going to get swatted away right there. Tariq Thompson now holding the ball. Gets on over to Aiden James. He's getting double teamed. Here comes Thompson getting the screen from LeBlanc. Thompson again, spin move. Kicks on a back. Aiden James for three. Gets that one to go. Aiden James for three points. And this kid definitely can bring it inside with the speed as well as the handles. But he has been working on his three point game there, Rain. Aiden James right now is the only bright spot for the Piranhas. And if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't be this close in the game right now, which they're not that close. So as the ball is knocked out of bounds for a quick stoppage of play, substitutions on the court for both teams. And the Griffins still looking at a very comfortable lead, 68-53, 435 left here in the third quarter. Nice ball movement here by the Griffins. Alexander with the ball on the right side. Wants to cut back inside to the right. Up, over, could not get that one to go. Hardaway with the rebound for the Piranhas. James now with the ball, wants to drive inside. Aiden James gets hit right there, almost had that one to go. Making Amerson totally hacking the young man. Aiden James going to the line. He is the shortest player in the PSB. I know Heidi, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but this kid right here has the handles, the speed, you name it. And he's working on the Take game from long range. Two shots. Rain, I got to ask you, I like a lot of things coming from Aiden James, but what are some of the things that you really like about this young man? First of all, this kid is fearless. He attacks the rim like he's 6'6". 
He shows that he can be a leader. And tonight, he's the best player on the Piranhas. And if I was Aiden, I'd be telling the coach, don't take me up out of this game. So as the second attempt goes up, he goes two for two from the line. And James definitely securing those two points from the free throw line. Here comes the Griffin, the rum now, tries to go inside. Not gonna go, McNamerson rebound, gets hit right there by Allen. Maybe McNamerson adding another two points inside the paint. As you can see right there, 30 points of their 70 have come from the paint. That is definitely something you gotta watch out for, Rain. New York can score from the inside, the outside, you name it, no pun intended. By far, New York is one of the best teams in the league. So another and one opportunity here for the Griffins. McNamerson shot is up, gets that one to go, extending this lead to 71-55, just at four minutes here in the third quarter. Hardaway now kicks it on back. Here comes Jamison driving inside. Getting stopped right there, up, over, could not get that shot to fall. Alexander with the rebound for the Griffins. Rebounds again to this point. It is definitely going in the favor of New York. McNamerson getting the two points right there to almost put this to a 20 point game in favor of the Griffins. McNamerson definitely a name to watch out for. He has been hot on both the offense and defense here in this third quarter. You may not believe me, James, but McNamerson could be in the running for MVP. One of my friends told me that a while back, but I didn't believe him. Rum now trying to get down to Alexander. Alexander pump fakes up over. Could not get that one to go. Aberdeen with the rebound here for Jacksonville. Aberdeen now gets it on over to right. Right kicking out back. Here comes Jameson. Jameson looks to drive up inside. Could not get that one to go. McNamerson with the rebound here for New York. As Moda now gets it on over to Alexander. Gets it on down to McNamerson. McNamerson mismatch all the way. Gets that one to kiss off the glass. And he's going to do a little pose right there for the crowd, Rain. You saying that name again? McNamerson. I told you at the beginning of the game, he was one of the players to watch out for, and I wasn't wrong. Aberdeen, right hand layup, could not get that one to go. Could have went up a little bit stronger, I do believe. Aram getting blocked right there. Piranha's back on offense. Launch quick three, could not get that one to fall. If it isn't Ed Thomas and it isn't Kevin Alexander, it's Namie McNamerson, the name we keep calling. This team is loaded with talent. Alexander now kicks it on back. For that screen on the left side, wants to go. And now kicks it on back to Esmoda. Esmoda now getting the screen. Launching it for two, hits the back of the rim. Could not get that one to go. Under two minutes left here in the third. Jacksonville looks to drive. Gets blocked right there. Aberdeen able to get that offensive rebound, but misses the shot. McNamerson comes down with that one. Another rebound for McNamerson. A rum now, up, over, could not get that one to go, right with the rebound. And here comes Jacksonville, back on offense. Allen now with the ball on the right side. Wants to clear it away, hard away. Now tries to get it on down. Not gonna set it up in his favor. Right now, gonna look at shot clock cheese. Has to launch it for three, comes up short. McNamerson with the rebound yet again here for the Griffins range. By any chance, do anybody got the stat sheet? Is he having the rebound this guy got? Oh my God, Asmoda wanted to throw that down. A lot of miscommunication on that play and definitely missed an opportunity to jam it over everybody. It's not gonna happen. Shot clock and game clock. That's about 15, 16 second difference right now. Up, over, could not get that one to go. And that's about a 10 second difference. I could not do math just a second ago. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's a long day, especially here in New York. Allen now, hop steps, tries to get it to go. Aberdeen, offensive rebound, pump fix a few times, gets it to fall right there. Kind of thought that might have been a three second in the key, but it's not going to go in that favor. 
So now we look at 10 seconds left here in the third. Kicks it on back. Gives it now, wants to drive. Floats it up for two, hits the back of the rim. Rebound will go to Jacksonville. And at the end of three, this has still been New York's game. Can New York hold off? Or can Jacksonville take a bite out of this one? 75-57. Put your fours in the air, and especially at the four here tonight, Jeffrey John. Definitely putting in some work for the Griffins. Picking up a lot of rebounds here tonight. 75-57 to start the fourth quarter. James now gets it on over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc, spin move, wants to go for it. Could not get to go. Tariq Thompson with the rebound, keeping it alive for Jacksonville. And James now getting the screen. Trying to see, do his handles. Loses the ball right there. I think it hit off with his leg. And here comes Ant Thomas. Thomas now spin move. Getting stripped away by Aiden James. Storm now throws it down. Not set a whole lot of job at Storms here tonight. But two points will definitely put a statement into your stat column. Ant Thomas now getting the double screen. Goes inside. Oh my God, Ant Thomas soaring up and just throwing it down with two hands for authority. Ant Thomas putting on a show for New York tonight. He's like Jim Carrey in the mask. Somebody stop me. Launch three attempt right there. Nobody around. The Piranhas wide open three. Chisholm making that one pay. Stolen away right there. Here comes LeBlanc now. LeBlanc launching it from the free throw line. Comes up short. Storm throws it down off the offensive rebound range. And he is definitely picking up some steam here in the fourth. Can you say garbage point? But Storm is starting to make some noise. Jeffrey John getting hacked right there by Storm. This game right now, Rain. I mean, it's been all New York at this point, but the Piranhas definitely wanting to chip as much away and make this a real game. This game, I got to say, is definitely one, especially with the commentary that we have here tonight, you and I, is starting to really get on that hot track. Well, James, we like Batman and Robin, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Oh, I got a better one. We like Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy. Man, we badass. Oh, I can't sit there in the air. So as the free throw attempt did not fall for Jeffrey John, it is still, again, a commanding lead for the Griffins. 77-64. 7.22 left here in the fourth quarter. John now getting the shot on up. Gets it to go. At least goes one for two at the line. Chisholm now with the ball up on the logo. Aiden James now looking to set something up here. James versus McNamerson. The quick guard getting blocked from behind by the big man, Mamie McNamerson. Rebounds again to this point. One statistic, if you did not just see that, seven offensive rebounds for the Piranhas. Aiden James trying to go after McNamerson. I have to laugh at that one, right? I cannot lie, the kid got hard, but my name is going to keep breaking it. Storm now spins up over, could not get that one to go. Make Namerson with the rebound. And here comes Alexander. Job at Storm, two of seven from the floor. Stolen away, here comes Chisholm, throwing it down for the highlight jam for the Jacksonville Piranhas. Chisholm. With the flush, that could be the spark that Jacksonville needs. Man. Jacksonville can put on the highlights. That's a definite for sure. Pump fake. Thomas now goes inside. Jeffrey John gets that one to go for two. By any chance, do Jeffrey John remind you of somebody? Just can't put my finger on it. Just under six minutes here in the fourth. Wanted to go up for that jam, could not go. Here comes the block party yet again, Rain. 
inside to McNamerson. McNamerson throws it down for two. Namie McNamerson, 14 points, eight in the paint here tonight. And of course with the rebounds, he is definitely putting on a double digit clinic. McNamerson has been an absolute animal tonight. On the opposite end, on the defensive end, even on the bench. Adam for Jacksonville. So McNamerson hitting Storm on the way up for that shot. And that will send the big man to the line. Rain, we have to always talk about the Global Simulation Sports oh, Network. Take a break. Take a break. These guys Two shots. are definitely putting on one heck of a network, bringing some of the hot mics across the league. You got Jordan Smith. You got me. You got you. I mean, what else can we say about this company that is definitely going to put the crowd in favor of this company? Well, James, I can say something. The GSSN just sponsored a baseball league. I can't wait to see how that unfolds. And if you haven't heard, like I heard, they're even talking about picking up a wrestling contract. So as the attempts go on down, you know, one thing I got to say about the GSSN these guys are on their creative scale right now. Is Thomas going with the creative jam to go along with what I was about to say? GSSN is looking to expand past PSB. They would like to get a little bit more of a fan base on more than one thing. And I hear, spoiler possibly, they are working out a deal to bring another league into this company. Excuse me, on this network. Thomas. And there we go with a nice jam right there. Trying to talk about the game as well as what I'm about to say, but you will see more content from the GSSN very soon. Aiden James going inside, getting hit again by McNamerson. McNamerson knew that he hit the young man, but James coming up strong with that one. Like I said, the kid got heart, and who did he attack? The heartbreaker. Minor One shot. So Aiden James going to the line yet again. Free throw is up and it is good for the young man. 88 71, 444, and a timeout by New York this time. And we're going to take a quick timeout here on the GSSN. More PSB coming at you in just a few seconds. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more PSB, the premier simulation basketball. James Olsen alongside Rain Man bringing you this one. Rain, Jacksonville has still put up a fight in this game. They are still down 443 left on the clock could they still try to come away with at least chipping away and bringing it to at least single digits if not a very close game well anything's possible but it's only wishful thinking if we do think that in my own respectful opinion james now getting the steal from ant thomas looks to go inside Tariq Thomas had to kick it on out over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc up and over. Nice offensive awareness. A power forward over a, well, a point guard in Ant Thomas. Anderson hands it on off to Ant Thomas. Kicks it on back, launch three right there. Kuzlicki gets that one to go and is a 91-73 game. And we are about to hit the four minute mark here in the fourth and final quarter. LeBlanc now with the ball. Fades away. Gets that one to go for two. LeBlanc is heating up. And he's starting to throw up the L for LeBlanc. But too little, too late to start celebrating now. So Thomas now bringing the ball back up. Thomas now. Has a lot of piranhas surrounding him. Alexander, he has barely anybody around him, and he'll get that one to go. Field goals at this point, 60% for the Griffins to a measly 37 for the piranhas. Out of bounds right there. 
costly turnover if you want to try to chip away at this lead. Chisholm stepping on out right in front of the ref. Alexander looks to drive, floats it up, could not get that one to go. McNamerson with the rebound, kisses off the glass for two, and he gets put down on the ground, but quickly back up. It is now back to a 20-point game as we are about to reach the three-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Storm, he's going to launch it for two. Storm has been putting on a clinic for the Jacksonville Piranhas here in this fourth quarter. And he's heating up, Rain. They need a storm to do this in the first, second, and third quarter. But I guess better late than never, right? Floats up inside. LeBlanc now getting the steal. LeBlanc now bringing on up. Chisholm now getting blocked right there. Kazlicki with the rebound off the Jeffrey John block. And Thomas now looks to drive inside. Kicks it on back. Kazlicki now over in the corner. Behind the back move right there by Alexander. Stop, pop. Gets that two to fall. Kevin Alexander with the pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. Yeah, I see you, boy. Jacksonville with the timeout. It's a 20-point game. 2.14 left here in the fourth quarter. This is PSB, ladies and gentlemen, on the GSSN. Do not go anywhere for the last few minutes. Ant Thomas, he must be a chef outside of the PSB because he is definitely cooking it up here tonight. And man, oh man, the highlight reel for the young man, Ant Thomas, Rain. Ant Thomas put out a clinic out here tonight. Might as well call him a human highlight reel. He has a lot of highlights for the PSB top 10 plays. So as Jacksonville looks to inbound, we are about to get set back into this fourth quarter action. Stolen away right there, costly turnover by the Piranhas. McNamerson up, over, gets that one to go. And this game, I know we are now reaching the two minute mark of this game, but it is all New York to the very end. Jacksonville can just try to patent their stat line as much as they can but is definitely going into Griffin's favor. Block right there by Jeffrey John. Javid Storm spin move. Could not get that one to go. Nice defense by McNamerson. Thompson with, or excuse me, Thomas with the ball. I don't know why I said Thompson. Obviously there's a lot. Oh my God, Alexander getting the alley you jail. Man, I am speechless right now. He laid the hammer down with that dunk. The Ant Thomas to Kevin Alexander connection right there for that jam. And these fans are going to go home with a very happy dub. James now splitting the defense. Goes inside. Comes up short on that one. Ant Thomas with the ball. Tries to go after Chisholm now. Spin move. Nice move right there. Staying with that. Alexander now kicks that on over. His Licky inside for two points right there. And that is definitely going to put the nail in the coffin as we have reached about 40, let's say the 45 second mark left in this game. Wants to reattempt right there. Gets it to fall. Chisholm now with a three point bomb. And is all she wrote. The fans here in New York are happy. Jacksonville foul call. Number 33. Second personal foul. Second team foul. So Ant Thomas going to the line. And you can hear the fans here in the Big Apple. Ant Thomas has made a name for himself in the PSP with its insane dunks. With its insane highlight reel. I call him Ant Sanity. But that can call him MVP. The MVP chants are going down for one Ant Thomas reign. And this free throw attempt is up. And it is good. Substitutions for Jacksonville. Reign. Ant Thomas is definitely a legend here for the Griffins and for the PSB.
So patting the stat line just a little bit more for Ant Thomas. 105.80. Shot clock and game clock about seven second difference. Out of bounds right there. Costly turnover yet again here in the late few minutes of this game. So the inbound will just go to New York Griffins and they can just hold on to this ball. And I think they're looking to attack, I don't know. This is kind of costly or is he just trying to just do some dribble moves, I don't know. Now it looks like Gibson's gonna actually hold on to the ball and ladies and gentlemen, the New York Griffins with a dominating 105 to 80 win here at home against the Jacksonville Piranhas. Wow, what a game. Rain, your thoughts. The Piranhas need a lot of help. Aiden James and, and Thompson cannot be the only ones show up tonight. New York came out firing out on all cylinders. Signing off for the PSB is James Olsen alongside Rain Man.